How to get started with a Baikal IP camera. Once you have installed the software, click on the video viewer icon to open the software application. Once the application is open, click on the address book icon. Make sure the search tab is selected, then click the refresh button to search for IP cameras that have been added to your network. Please wait a moment. The application has discovered a Baikal IP camera. These are the default settings for the Baikal IP camera. IP address 192.168.1.1 with port number 80. To configure the Baikal IP camera to work with your network, please select the IP camera and then click the configure button. This will display the default IP properties for the camera. We are now going to change these properties so the IP camera works on our network. I'm changing the server IP address to 192.168.0.198. I have already set up this IP address on the router for the IP camera. You can leave the net mask as it is. The gateway should be the IP address of your router. I am now changing this to 192.168.0.1. You can leave the DNS server as it is. The default web port is 80. I have already set up port forwarding on the router for port 8585. If I now add another IP camera, I can select web port 8586. The default username is admin and the default password is admin. Click apply to save these settings. These settings have now been saved. To add this IP camera to our address book, click the Add button. You can now configure the camera further. Leave the transfer method as TCP, the IP address and port numbers we have already administered. You can change the username and password. For this demonstration, we are leaving the username as admin and the password as admin. You can stream the video from the IP camera in MPEG or JPEG. MPEG is suitable for remote viewing. JPEG is suitable for recording high resolution images. The AV option allows you to choose whether you wish to broadcast video only or video and audio. For this demonstration, we'll just choose video. The comment box allows you to assign a name for the IP camera. In this case, we'll call it Home Cam. Then click Apply. The IP camera has now been added to our address book. All you have to do to connect to this camera is just double click the camera. You can select the record checkbox if you want to record video which we will cover in our next video.